Are you a Christian? Yeah, I follow Christ. So can, can you can you show me where Jesus is God? Yeah, in, absolutely. So real quick, do you believe Jesus is God or no? No, nah, Jesus is the son of God. Well, yeah, I mean, we I believe that too. Do you believe in the Trinity? No. <laughs> you don't? Okay. No. So what does the son of God mean to you? Do you believe in uh, divine or just a human? The, the son of man, he's the he's a, he's a human being, uh, strictly human. He's a medium. Strictly human. Yes. Okay, sounds good. All right, well, let me show you. You do believe in the whole Bible, right? Uh, yeah, if it's if it's like correct. <clears throat> so you think there's parts of the Bible that are not correct? I mean, there's some that was tampered with, but I mean, yeah, you can. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's uh let's start kind of let's start with uh let's start slow real quick. Let's go to I'm gonna go to Deuteronomy. Uh, I'll show it to you on the screen, okay? Yeah, that's cool. Bro. So what are you showing Chapter. me? I'm going to show you that he's God, bro. All right. <laughs> you think he's just a human, right? Yeah, I mean, he is. He ain't an alien. <laughs> well, we believe he's human, but we believe he's fully human, fully God. Fully human, okay. fully God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why is that funny, bro? Because this is <laughs> okay. what I'm looking at. All right. Verse 17. All right. For, your, for the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God who is not partial and takes no bribe. Do you agree that God is the God of God and Lord of Lords? Yes. Okay, great. Now, I'll take you to Revelation chapter 17. I'm going to go to verse 14. So in Revelation, the Lamb, Jesus is referred to as the Lamb in Revelation. They will make war on the Lamb, and the Lamb will conquer them, for he is... Lord of Lords mm -hmm. and King of Kings. Yeah. You did agree. You did agree that the God is Lord of Lords, but right here he's Jesus is being called Lord of Lords. Exactly. So if you uh read of Philippians, the Father exalted Jesus to be the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Uh he mm -hmm. exalted him to uh for that title and that position. So beautiful. In in the OT, we that agree. was Jehovah, and this is the Lamb Jesus Christ. So that's the distinction right there. So that's that is not the the Deuteronomy verse you gave me is not about mm -hmm. Jesus. Okay, okay, sounds good. Here we go. Let me show you another one. Let's go to Isaiah. If you think that's about Jesus, then you would think Jesus is the Father. Then no, I just think Jesus is Yahweh. Is the Father Yahweh? They're all Yahweh, which is uh, Father, it's, Son, Holy Spirit. So, all so Yahweh. you believe God is three persons? That's the Trinity. Do you know what the Trinity is? Yeah, I know what the Trinity is, but like... Okay, so you, why are you asking it like you're surprised, bro? Come on. Because, you're not, you're not because it's like three persons is insane. <clears throat> okay, no problem. Let's st let's do this one, okay? What is let's this? Go, this is Isaiah chapter 44, um, verse 6. Okay. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay, great. Now we're gonna go to you gotta Revelation. Keep oh, you want me to keep reading? Yeah, sure. like verses happen. Okay. Where you want me? To, how many verses you want? Me I mean, to? you can just keep reading because I, I haven't. Uh, who was like me? There's about claim your letter declare said before me since I anointed the ancient people that they're declared. Okay, you good? Okay, good. <clears throat> All right. So now we're gonna go to Revelation, chapter one, verse seventeen and eighteen. Now, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he laid his right hand on me, saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last and the living one. I died, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and Hades. Who's speaking there? Jesus. Wait, who's speaking what in that Jesus, verse? That's... What did Jesus what did Jesus claim to be? The first and the last. Okay. I thought the first and the last was Yahweh, and besides me, him, there is no God. I mean, did, so, if, I mean, eh, I mean, the OT, it's, it did say, it did say there's no God beside him, but Jesus never said that, uh, Jesus never, I mean, Jesus is the first and the last, Jehovah is the first and the last. Um, Jesus has all authority to proclaim that, uh, to proclaim that he's the first and the last, he has all authority and he can say whatever he wants. 
So I do believe he's the first and the last as well. So I, I have no problem with this revelation verse you're giving me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you believe the first and the last? Um, so whoever, do you believe that? Jesus is talking about, this is a whole different first. This is not the same first and last he's talking about. Jesus really? is talking Can about you, how do you, how do you prove that, bro? Because so if you uh, what is it? Is it in first? Oh, I forgot. Hold on. No, it's, it's actually in John. I think it's in John. Um, uh, when it says the, the, uh, something about the glory he shared with him. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's about John seventeen. Yeah, yeah. And when it said yeah, and I think in Colossians it says he's the firstborn of all creation. That's uh he's the first. Uh, resurrection. That's this is what he's talking about. He's the first and the last of that. That's a whole. Di this this is not about what the thought. This is not about uh, the God and the OT. Okay. So, do you believe that God shares His glory? He shared it with Israel, Isaiah thirty-five. Okay. Well, He shared His glory. Hold on a second. In Isaiah seventeen five. Well, let, hold on real quick before we go to the glory. So you're saying going back because I had a question on this. You're saying that. Any someone like Jesus can claim the same title as Yahweh. No, Yahweh I mean, that's not a, uh, that's so not a title. So it, it is a title. I I am this the first. Is, this is a title. a title. I mean, Jesus what, is what the first is and that, the last. Then? Jehovah's the first and the last. I mean, it does the Bible tells us how many first and last are there? I mean, bro, if it bro, only... listen, listen, you, you need to you need to do some history, bro. Anybody who claims the same title as Yahweh is blasphemy. You you cannot share the same title as Yahweh unless you're Yahweh. So hold on. So, so okay. So so we finna get this through because I think you mixed up. So did the Father say I'm the first and the last in the OT? Yes. So Jesus is saying. Well, Yahweh Yahweh said. Okay, it. Yahweh. In, in so the Father. That's but Yahweh's the Father in, in the OT, right? Bro, let's let's skip Father. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, hold on. Let's skip Father Son. I wanna, Yahweh. I want to get. Yahweh I wanna get said this. he's I the first wanna, and the last. I want to I want to know. I want to know like I want to know name. So the Father, aka Yahweh. Uh, Yahweh said, "I'm the first and bro, the last." Bro, listen, listen, listen. You're gonna ask a question. You're gonna go ask a question with your with your preloaded assumptions. Let's stay. Let's stay on common ground. In the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, it's Yahweh. There's no distinction yet as to whether it's Father or Son. It or is Holy though. Spirit. It is. Okay, you can prove that to me later. But let's just talk about Yahweh in the Old Testament. Go ahead with your question. When you say Yah, bro. When... <laughs> I might even not go to that. When you you don't want to approach the father or the son, like yeah, I'm not finna go to that conversation. Then. I know, I know. Why not? Because it's, it's useless. When I say the father, yeah, because you want Yahweh. because you want to present the false dichotomy, bro. It's not like, a false dude. dichotomy. I, I, so go ahead, go ahead, finish your question. Okay, ahead, so the it. Old Testament is the father, right? In that, in that, ver in that verse, it depends on the context. It depends on the yeah, context. Yeah, yeah, understand. But, so, yeah, but we know it's Yahweh, so go ahead. Okay, yeah, so that was the Father. Now, Jesus right here in Revelation 21 is the Son. So if Jesus is claiming the Father, well, what the Father claimed, a.k.a. Yahweh, that means Jesus is the Father to your, um, to your understanding, right? What? Move on, bro. Yeah, dude, your, your question made no sense. It, it's not. Yeah, it's not making sense at all. All right, so here we go. Let's go to Hebrews 1. All right, so explain this to me, okay? It's good. Um, let's see. Long ago, at many times and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers. What translation are you reading from? This is English Standard Version by the prophets. You but go to in the these last. Sure. <clears throat> It's not going to be much different from very yeah, trolling, bro. It's the, it's the most accurate to the Hebrew and Greek or something. So yeah, that's fine. I use it too. <clears throat> God, after He spoke long ago to the to the fathers and the prophets in many portions and in many ways, in these last days, has spoken to us in His Son, whom He appointed heir of all things, through whom also He made the world, and He is the radiance of His glory and the exact representation of His nature. And upholds all things by the word of his power. When he made the purification of sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. So, according to this, the Son made the world mm -mm. and is the exact representation of his nature. Hold is God is God's nature eternal? Hold on, yes hold on, no? hold on. We gotta slow now. That's not what it's saying. So let hold on. It says, In these last days, hold on, scoot over a little bit. In these last days has spoken uh to us in his son. Whom he appointed, there all things through. It says through whom also he mm -hmm. made the world. So it was through Jesus he made the world. Jesus didn't make it. It's a difference. 
So continue with your uh, statement. Hold on. <laughs> it was it was through Jesus. through through whom? Okay, that's fine. Right. It so was through. Let, let's tackle this one thing. Uh, is God's nature eternal? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. What you mean by that? Uh, yeah, you're you're scared to answer it. No, I don't. I don't, God, I don't understand. Okay, that. so is God is God? Does God have a beginning? No. Does God have an end? No. Okay, that's what eternal means. Okay, okay so right, is, is God's nature eternal? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so what does it mean when His Son has the exact representation of His of it's, His nature? His radiance. Uh, scoot over a little bit in His radiance of His. I can't see all the way, bro. Scoot over. Dude, this is the, the whole his, verse. I know. Now I can bro. see of His radiance and His glory and the exact representation of His nature. What was your question again? So I can answer it. If God's nature is eternal and Jesus has his nature, is Jesus eternal? Yes or no? It says the radiance of it is the exact representation. I mean, it says the glory, <laughs> exact representation of his nature. I mean, I don't know how to I don't know how to answer that question. Yes or no? Is it eternal, bro? I'm wasting time. Is it eternal? Yes or no? Is Jesus eternal? <laughs> Is Yahweh's nature eternal? Yes, yes or no? Yehovah, I don't know who you talking about. Okay. Like that. Watch your mouth, so that bro. means that Jesus is eternal too. That's not, yes that's or no? Not what he's saying? Watch your mouth, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my he's God, trolling. <laughs> he's trolling. But seriously, is his nature yet, uh, eternal? Yes. Yes, or no? the Father's nature is eternal. Yes. Okay, so if Jesus has the exact representation of his nature, is he eternal? He has the exact representation of his nature. <laughs> Manifesting ain't gonna help you, bro. I'm just trying to read and understand the question slower. I'm not manifesting nothing. I mean, yeah, you can say that. Okay, thank you. All right, now let's go to something else real quick. So we see the first and the last was Yahweh. The Father. Verse 12. Verse 12. Let's see if it's the Father. So listen to me, O Jacob. Even, even Israel, whom I called, I am he, I am the first, I am also the last. Surely my hand founded the earth, and my right hand spread out the heavens. Who's the one that founded the earth and spread out the heavens? Yeah, so that's the, that's the father speaking. Uh, Is it God? Say Jake, yeah, the father. I'm, 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 I'm putting titles so bro, I know exactly. Yeah, yeah, but bro, you don't believe in the Trinity, so you shouldn't have to be put in father. There's only one God, right? No, when According I say God, you. you think it's three persons inside that one God. So I'm What do you think then? What do you believe? What do you mean? Do you believe in Father, Son, Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the Father. <clears throat> okay. So you you believe you believe they're all the Father? No. Jesus is not the Father. He's the Son of the Father. Okay, great. But you don't but you believe he is a human. Yes, Jesus is pure human. Even though his his nature is eternal. I mean the spirit that was in him is he yeah, this yeah. Okay, sounds good. So, I am he, I am the first and the last. Surely my hand founded the earth and the right hand spread out the heavens. We, but Whether you believe it's the Father or Son, we both agree this is God, correct? Right, because, yeah, he don't have... He, yeah. Okay. It's riddle. Same person, same person speaking. Come near to me, listen to this. From the first I have not spoken in secret, from the first time it took place, I was there. And now the Lord, God, has sent me person who was saying the first and the last mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and his spirit all right bet so let's go to isaiah father son holy spirit okay bet. hold up okay. no 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 it's oh, actually not so capone, capone. Hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on because i because i was just studying this so stay on this but we finna actually see the answer to this go to isaiah 6 8 this will give you the exact answer so you actually you can't just skip you you skip the little verses but you you got to keep reading that but go to isaiah 6 yeah bro we're, we're saving time Right. So then I heard a voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? This is him, his spirit. The father saying this to Isaiah. And I said, here I am. Send me. He said, go and tell his people. So this is the father telling Isaiah who will go for us, meaning him and his spirit. So that means Isaiah, Isaiah called himself the first. No, the no. We, we got to read slow. Let's go back to Isaiah 48, 16, where you were just reading from. We got to read that slow. So it was. It's not no three people. It was. It's, it's not. That's Isaiah speaking. Read a couple verses up. Some of all you listen, who among them 
He has declared these things. The Lord loves him. He will carry out his good pleasures on Babylon. Who is this speaking about? Verse 14. This is Isaiah speaking in verse 14, right? How do you know? I mean, this is not the this is not the, the father saying the Lord loves him. I mean, he's not the father's not speaking to that person. <laughs> How do you know? I mean, How do you know that's not the son saying? Let's, let's, let's break it down. How do you know that's not the let's son break it down to the father? Let's break it. Let's break it down. Because we just read in Isaiah 6, 8 that the father said, who will go for us? Isaiah is saying, send me. Here I am. He's stepping up saying, here I am. Show me and his says arms and his arms will be against the Chatterlands. I even I have spoken. And I have so, bro, I've so, bro, I've studied this. I've studied this. And, you know, they don't have quotation marks. In the so, 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 look. so, so hold on. <laughs> hold on. What they do know is that this is that this is all one speaking, even though there's been, there's been not. That some people, some people. Hold on, bro. Stop interrupting, man, because I let you speak and I let you read and all that stuff. That essentially that they know that this is one person speaking. Some will make the case that this is Isaiah, but there's no evidence to it. We know that it's one person speaking, which is why it's indented. And then we see further when we go to 17, it goes on to the next part. Okay, so let's and, read verse 14 and tell me who that is. You tell me, go ahead. I'm, no, you, you, I mean, you said it's one person. So That's the same person. I already made the claim that it's one person okay, speaking. Okay, so. Go ahead. You make the claim. Design, Cindy, go ahead. All, of you, all of you, listen, who among mm -hmm. them has declared these things. The Lord loves him. He will carry out his good pleasure on Babylon. So is this. Is this God speaking? Who is this God? Wait, so I'm just trying to get you to understand. I don't understand, but who who do you oh, think he's speaking right here again? God? Who's this? Yeah, it, it switches. That's why. So it says, I am he on the it first and last. Really, my hand founded the earth. My hand. And in verse 14. So this is, I, this it switches, bro. You, it doesn't switch. It does. It's conjunctive. Wait. It's not disjunctive. Okay, so, You're unlearned. Okay, so, You're not so learning. Tell me who's it's speaking in verse 14. It's you the Lord uh, we already we already said, bro. This is all one person speaking. Okay, that's so, our claim. Okay, now you're saying it's not. You're saying this is someone else. Prove your claim, bro. Look, bro. What, what, okay, so is the Lord saying the Lord loves him and he will carry out good pleasures yes. on Babylon? So yes. that's Lord, Trinity right there. The, the, hold on. So, so which person is speaking? That's how should I? The have? Son. I already God made the, the claim. Is speaking. It, okay, hold bro. on, Lisa. Hold on. I am the first and the last. Is God? Is Yahweh? I showed you in the New Testament that Jesus claims to be the first and last. Then we see that the first and last is speaking here. It makes perfect sense why he bro, said the no, Lord loves him. Bro, hold on, Capone. Hold on. Hold on. No, bro. Oh my god. Okay, you're gonna get you're gonna get muted. Don't manifest. Bro. So yeah, he's manifesting now for sure. Showed you that Jesus claims to be the first and last in Revelation. Now this is being quoted here that the Lord loves him. And it says, Now the Lord God the Father has sent me, the Son, and his spirit, the Trinity right there. The Trinity makes sense. Your oneness, weird belief does not make sense. So thank <laughs> you for coming. Bear, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. You oneness, and I wasn't even done speaking. Uh, yeah, goodbye. Oh, hold on, Bear. I, bro, I'm not going to let this atrocious claim side. He said, he said that the Father is the Holy Spirit. Well, I thought John 16, 13 said he will not speak on his own authority, but he will only speak of what he hears. Who is the Father hearing from? If, if you know, if, if the Father is the Holy Spirit, this, you have... A paper mache doctrine I built on see, rich oh practice. Oh my god! I didn't even see Dom in the in the box. My <laughs> bad, bro. I would have let you come up here. Low key, um, real quick. Uh, he said that verse fourteen can't be God speaking because it says the Lord loves him. So why, why would he say it? We go to Exodus. <clears throat> we go to Exodus nineteen, verse ten. It says Yahweh mm -hmm. also said to Moses, "Go to the people and set them apart as a holy to, uh, as holy today and tomorrow, and let them wash their garments and let them be ready for the for on the third day." But on the third day, Yahweh will come down on Mount Sinai and all the side of the people. So Yahweh can talk about Yahweh, especially since it's two different d d distinct persons. Another person talking about another person. Exodus Absolutely. 19 is literally one of the passages in the uh, Old Testament where all three persons are visible and can mm -hmm. be distinct from uh, Exodus 19. Starting at verse 8 all the way through, uh, I think, like 20 or yep. 23. So yeah, we clearly see that he he just didn't know what he was <laughs> talk about. I don't know what he believed in, really, to be honest. Yeah, I, I was hoping somebody weird. would have brought him to John sixteen thirteen when he said the Holy Spirit is the Father. I I, I, I was hoping somebody would have done it, but it's yeah. Right. I mean, if he wants to come back up, you could talk to him. Oh man, let's see if he wants to come back up. There he is. <laughs> and, so, and so let's go to John uh, sixteen thirteen in the Greek. Okay, that's fine. 
But can you address the Exodus 19 rebuttal that we gave? So you said for verse 14, it can't I be. Didn't, I, didn't nothing. Hear, I didn't hear nothing. I mean, I can't. You said you said, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. you said for Isaiah for you said for Isaiah forty eight verse fourteen that has to be Isaiah talking because it says the Lord loves him. Well, I mean, that's, I mean we know in that we know in that passage it switches. I mean that's just not it, it doesn't switch. Because you have to explain. You have to you have to explain why. Where's the switch at then when it says in Exodus nineteen <clears throat> verse ten? Wait, you, what says, you bringing Exodus in for? Because what, I'm going to show you because it, it does the same syntax. That's what I'm going to show you. <laughs> Yahweh, it's, it's Yahweh also said to Moses, "Go so to." Are we going to go to John sixteen thirteen? Well, hold on, we're going to go to. Oh, John chill. Calm down. We're going to go to John 16 after I, get, after I get finished folding you on this. Yahweh also okay. said to me, go to the people, set apart them as holy today and tomorrow. Let them wash their garment. Let them be ready for the third day. For on the third day, Yahweh will come down on Mount Sinai and all the side of the people. So again, we see Yahweh referring to Yahweh and there's no change in syntax. Same thing with Isaiah 48 verse 14. Yahweh who's talking can still say Yahweh loves them because that's how he speaks. We see that substantiate with the rest of scripture. So Ooh, now you want to go to John, John 16, 13. John 16, 13. Let's go through the rest of that. Let me that too. I'll pull it up right now. Who, who's so, the Holy Spirit to you? So the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Triune God. So my question to you, since you believe that the Holy Spirit is the Father, and John 16, 13 says that when the Holy Spirit or the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak of, him, of himself, but whatever he hears, that's what that is what he will speak it and disclose it. Who is it, it literally says it. It literally says it. Hey, go to pull pull up. Um, uh, you on Bible Hub? Uh, I'm on uh, Bible Gateway. Okay. The Holy Spirit is go, go, go to go to Bible Hub. We're gonna see the direct in the linear. The Holy is okay, okay. It's yeah. not a he. Yeah, Huros Huros is literally can be. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, let's personal. Yeah, can be he or can be he. So let's 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 not see. A he. Okay, bro. The same word is also you see how the Trinitarians added it to the <laughs> to make it hey, bro, you it was don't, a person. You, you literally don't know Greek grammar at all. No, it's, <laughs> so again, I mean, so I don't need to. I mean, you do. Here's your key. Hey, come on. Hey, hey, mute, mute up real quick so yeah. you can get forward real fast. All right, here we go. So, so, um, yeah, so it says, mean. so in verse 13, when it says, uh, Hotan di Athai Echaneos, right? Echaneos is referring to that one, right? Personally, personally. The, the same yeah go ahead you can press same, on it can exactly it? come on there you it go that, it says that one the yeah, same word yeah. the same word the same word is used of jesus is oh. jesus is jesus and it now i don't know I, come on bro you just press on the he we, we need to see what this he is to see the like this proper right here? yeah 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 so the yeah. same so, so so let's read it and translate the same all right, so go back and so, translate so, this. Go to go to um go back and click on the actual fifteen sixty five. Hold on, what you what you what go you to, click on? Click on, on, click on what because that's what's going to show you the word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why is see, that funny? Bro, because we're we're, we're, look, we're gonna look at the actual word. Here we go. The, the, okay, it's not so a it says, so it says a that. So look, it says that one. The part of speech is a demonstrative pronoun. Pronouns are used for persons get it that's called grammar sir the same word is used of jesus in john as well what jesus, why are you bringing g bro you going okay. everywhere bro can we stay on this bro like hey, bro, i need on, you to focus up bro some focus he's bringing bro. jesus bro. in it, capone like, focus bro. up hey, the reason on, you brought bro. up jesus to the show a parallel brought up jesus is because the same word here is used of jesus so when you're trying to say that means it you're a dummy because you'd have to say Jesus it actually does though. So, so so let's go let's okay, go to so, it. So 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 it so again we have it up it right now. So you can't the, say let's the go context to you it. can. It depends right on here. the context. It's literally right here. So again, it's a demonstrative pronoun. You see how you trying to you see how you what am I? What am I? What are you, you talking? Yeah, you trying to like do that? Like you trying to bring do what? Capone? You see how you he's, he's, bring, like, he's bringing the Greek. He's bringing the Greek, bro. No, no, I no, I understand what he's doing, but like in this context, it's it's. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Let's okay. So you want to see the context? Scroll down, uh, bear. Scroll down to uh to Thayer's Greek lexicon and re and go to the usage and go to uh it's under clause one and then clause B under one. And what does it say right there? Noted of persons. Wait, Dumb. Hey, seeing that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't right know. Where here. you look seeing up, it? Look up, fool. Look it's right here, bro. Thing. It's right. Look. look, look. Uh, noted. It. Be noted of persons. And see where it says John sixteen, John 16 13. three. Okay. Or Thirteen. Sorry. So it's not an it there. It most it's, bro. Hold on. Go, go, go back. Go person. back. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go Look. back. 
It's I'm right there. Bro, go back. Capone. So we can Capone. see. You see how Capone. You Capone. Capone. Do you know? Listen, it says right here that it's a person according to the same a verse. No, they person, bro. Oh my lord. Listen, bro. Can can you go back, bro? And impress on the impress on the what's the name it? On the what? Press on the go, what? Go back. <laughs> go back. He says he's saying going back. He said goes go back. Oh, you want to go back back. Yeah, he's gonna go back to the thing. Bro, he, exactly. he just showed now, you now where it's, on, it's referred to as it. a person. Now click on it. Click on what? Click on the click on that, yeah. What okay. what, what is that right. referring to? It's telling you different occurrences in the scripture. Okay. No, but 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 tell me what is that saying? Is it what is that saying right there? Okay, we just brought you the usages. These are the usages, you. not bro. C come on, bro. Hey, like, why hey, you? Why hey, you? Come come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, sir. Why are you doing all that? Like, bro, nonsense, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Do you know what this is? Do you know what this page is is doing? Power tripping, bro. Do, I'm asking you. Do you know what this page is doing? Because clearly you don't. I most when, you on, do. when you click on the word, all it's just doing is showing you the occurrences in the scriptures of where this word is. It's not showing you the definitions or the usages at all. When, so did, this I, page, when, did, I, this when did I say that? This page is irrelevant. That pa the page is irrelevant. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. What are you laughing at? Because, because like it's just it's just crazy how you trying to just cancel everything out. Okay, <laughs> no, so you trying to cancel everything out to fit over. Hold on, tell me the doctrine. Hold on, hold on, hold head. on, Capone, Capone. Tell me the relevance of this page that's just showing you how many times this word occurs in the scripture. Bro, look, bro, are you not like, bro? Is you Show, not looking at so the screen? Tell me the. Is stop. You, are you looking at the screen? Are you stop looking at, at the screen? Stop ad hominem. Are you looking just, at the screen? Just tell me the relevance that this page is to you. Tell me the non-relevance. Tell me the non-relevance. Because all here's the non-relevance. Listen with your ears. All it's doing is just showing you how many times it's occurring in scripture and where. It's not showing you the definition or the usages or the applications. Okay, that's why it's irrelevant. Now articulate to me what is the relevance of this page which is just showing you the amount of occurrences it's, it's literally in your face bro can you articulate it it's literally it's literally in your face can the you same, articulate the, the, the same when you press on that word it literally says the same same for this definition oh in the verse gosh, okay so okay hold on hold on so on matthew 26 24 it says for that so what so i, mean, I, so, I don't know so let's read it you so running, you running different. everywhere. Like I don't know where you. We're, to, we're, like, we're on the same page. You said Matthew right twenty. You said Matthew. Bro, it's right there. We're in the same. It's in front page. of your we're face, Capone. Anywhere. It's I'm right not even looking. I'm not even looking at the screen, bro. So then look at the screen. What are you talking about? <laughs> look, and the same page you, where you say it's the same. It also says for that, because it's just showing you that let's this is at, a let's look at the context. Let's look at the context of the Matthew twenty six then. Bruh, so then why don't you just go to a page where it has the usages of the where usage? the context no, is applied? You talking about the usage, bro? This dude, man. Do you know what usage is, bro? <laughs> I almost definitely know what usage is. <laughs> okay, so, so, so is, is it the usage for that verse? Is it the usage for that verse? Is it yes. the usage for that verse? Yes. Yes, bro. this is the <laughs> last page we were at. We showed you the usage. I'll show it to him again. I'll show it to him again. So go, go, no, go back. I'll show it to him again. So we're going to oh, go back to the gosh. usage. Scroll up. This is the usage is. noted of persons, and it gives you John seventeen, John sixteen thirteen, and it has the Greek in how it's a being applied for John sixteen thirteen noted of persons. Hey, that's hey. how you know what it means. That's how you do proper hey. hermeneutics. You don't know what you're talking about. Hey, hold and, uh, and go to John seventeen eleven. Let's see how that shoes right there. <laughs> All right, so do you concede to this that this concede? is a person? What do you mean? No, like, what are you talking like, What are you talking about? So, does it say, oh my about god, this? Bro, Capone, Capone, stop being dishonest. Capone, dishonest Lexicon, about what it literally says. The Capone, Capone, does Capone, it say, no, to, the Capone, person seriously, know. right, right here, it's literally saying John 16 13 that it's noted that this word is used as a person, bro. It's it, this is what this is saying, it's using that verse as an example as to when this is used as a verse. These are all the examples of that word being used as a person. It could be used in other things as well, but here it's saying when it's noted as a person in classic Greek, these are the verses when it's referred to as a person. The last one they put is John 16 13. That's why I said it can also be applied for Jesus. Look, John 7 11 is talking about Jesus using the same word. But he's not an it, is he? 
Hey, so hey, in John 16, 13, for that specific verse, it could be noted as persons, but for that specific word, where's that at? This so, is the word. So this is the right word. Right there, bro. And it's called specific, not pacific. It's specific. The, and it's the right here. Bro, what? Look at, you said ah. that specific. Bro, listen. This right here <laughs> is referring to Strong's 1565, which is that specific word. It's these are the ways that it's used. It's when it's used as a person. Here are the verses that it's used as a person. It's also referred to as Jesus, but more specifically to what we're talking about, John sixteen thirty. Because Jesus is it, <laughs> just like wow. Saying. According to your logic, wow. no. Wow. According to your logic, you he just said Jesus, so Jesus is Bro, it. Look, person. Oh my, hey, y'all wait. So Jesus, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He didn't graduate. So according to your logic, Jesus is an it person. Perfect. Pers no, person. No, he, he's an it person. A person. <laughs> hey, Bro. either you're trolling and then you just about I'm, to get I'm so, I'm so dead serious. Okay. I'm, I'm so, so dead okay. serious. Okay, so I'm going to try again with you. I'm going to try again with you. It's a demonstration. Hold on. All right, all right, all right. All right. And, and so forget, and forget about all this. So it's, it's a demonstrative pronoun. We're we going to get pronouns, to the Pronouns are associated most of the time with persons, okay? So the usages that it's showing you here, it's shown you for when it's denoted for Let's read the scripture, bro. Read the scripture. We're, read the scripture. We're, <laughs> down the scripture. The scripture. we're gonna scripture. we're break, we're breaking down the scripture. No, I'm so definitely noted as first. Hey, hey, bro, either you're gonna dip or you don't sit here through it. What it's not gonna happen is we're sit not gonna what? I'm telling you to I'm telling you to read the verse. I'm telling you I'm Boom. not gonna listen to you. I'm telling you I'm not gonna listen to you and I'm gonna break it down. So either you wanna sit through it, kick up your feet and sip some apple juice and sit through it, or dip, pick. Cool? All right. So anyway. Echineos, Echineos is used as a demonstrative pronoun. And the, we're showing you that the usages are literally applied for persons. Well, read the Jesus verse. Jesus is one of those. Hey, bro, say something else. I'm going to just drop you. Read cool? the verse. All right, I'll give you full mods so you can drop gotcha. him. Yeah, he's, he's gone. Anyway, all right. So so scroll down real quick. So just for the audience, so they know. So if you go when it says the note of the persons, can you go to John seven eleven? So we see where it's used. The Jews were seeking him at the at the feast, um, and they were saying, "Where is he?" Right. So mm -hmm. it's used he there of a person, and it's referring to Jesus there. Another demonstrative pronoun. And it's the same word, echineos. And if we go back to John seven uh sixteen thirteen, it's the exact same word, echineos, denoted mm -hmm. of he. Not an it at all. Now, it can be. And if you want to see where it is, you can go back. But it's more so pertaining to a particular, not necessarily an it in itself. It, when it says an antithesis, referring to more of a remote subject, um, mm -hmm. try uh, try to look for 1814. You see that? Oh. All right. So, it was like, you know, Uh, Echinon. Yeah, okay, cool. So okay. that, right? So start, start referring to something specifically. Um, but yet, the look at the concept. I say, to you, I say to you, went down this one justified to the house of him rather than that for everyone exalted himself will be humbled. Right. Yeah. So look at so it. The word is so, that. so the word is that, denoting, denoting to a particular, but look at the subject matter. It's still referring to people not inanimate mm. objects. 